Hey Cake Nieces, it's Marisha. Today we are stuffed and stunning. I wanted to say stuffed and stuff, but they didn't give me enough Fs. They gave me one F in like eight ends. So I put a heart. As y'all know, I don't make cookies too often, so it's almost like I'm experiencing a whole new world that's really not new at all. I'm a little bit obsessed because they're so easy to make. They're so easy and they're so delicious. And I realized really they're just as versatile as cake. It's kind of fun brainstorming on different cookie fillings. And I'm letting you know right now, if you see more cookies coming out of my cake channel, that's what's going on right now. I've been having a taste for cheesecake. I just don't feel like making one quite yet. I will settle for a cheesecake stuffed something. So I'm going to take those jumbo cookies and stuff them with strawberry cheesecake stuffing. And then we're gonna do cute little designs and all of that. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, I almost said if you have not done done, that was really weird to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. You must. And then press on the notification bell to make sure that you get these lovely notifications. If you've subscribed already and you clicked on your notifications, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're amazing. This one's for you. Okay, Cake Nieces, for this recipe, I'm going to need some all-purpose flour, brown sugar and granulated sugar, some baking powder, cornstarch and salt, an egg, some butter, vanilla, and I don't have strawberry extract, but raspberry extract will do. We're gonna need some dehydrated strawberries. The only ones that I actually have are dipped in chocolate, so I'm just gonna see how these work. Very simple recipe. Everything will be in the description so that you can make it at home yourself. I'm going to start by whipping up both of my sugars and my butter. You're going to want to use unsalted butter. I tried this recipe with salted butter just to see and definitely go for unsalted. If you notice a little floury mess on the side, I like scooped my finger. It came in like a bat, like, like Batman when he saw the bat signal for no apparent reason and it just made a huge mess. <laughs> I just shoveled a bunch of flour out. <laughs> And it was time to record, so you know, sometimes you just get what you got, what you get, what you got. <laughs> Once the butter and sugar have completely mixed together and they look a little bit light and fluffy, we're going to add in our extracts. My vanilla and my raspberry extract, by all means, if you have strawberry extract, even better. And then I'm going to add in my dry ingredients. And I still like to treat my cookie doughs like I do my cake batter, never over mix. Crunchy surprise. As we're mixing, this is going to come together and make one soft dough. And at that point, we can add in whatever toppings we would like to add. I'm going to take some of those chocolate covered strawberries that are dehydrated. They are gorgeous when they are cut into, are they not? We all know that chocolate and strawberries are a match made in heaven. So I don't really think that I can go wrong with this. I mean, chocolate covered strawberries, cheesecake filling, a cookie. We're doing it up big. By the way, I got those from Target. Just look in the dried fruit section. We're going to add that to our cookie dough. <laughs> I was trying to get every single little morsel in there. I'm going to give this a quick mix. In case you're wondering if you can use fresh strawberries, there's a lot of liquid, a lot of juice in strawberries. So the dehydrated ones work best. It gives it that color and the flavor without jeopardizing its structural integrity. I'm going to use a small ice cream scoop to scoop little balls out and put them straight onto my lined cookie sheet. And then I'm going to indent my dough with the back of the spoon and that makes space for our filling. Now I'm going to make my cheesecake Filling. It's really a cream cheese frosting when you think about it without the butter. Just strawberries, powdered sugar, cream cheese, and a little bit of love. Sprinkle that on there at the end. So I have here my softened cream cheese. 
I'm going to use six ounces. That was actually a lot. I have plenty left over and I'm never mad when I have cheesecake filling left over. I'm going to add some chopped strawberries and I'm really just going to let this mixing process break those strawberries down. I'm going to add in my confectioner sugar. It made such a beautiful blush pink, didn't it? With those little specks of red strawberry. This was kind of gorgeous. I'm gonna put this into a piping bag and then snip the very tip of that piping bag. This is going to be piped right into the center of each cookie. The excitement at this point was just out of this world. I have never even tasted a stuffed cookie, let alone made a stuffed cookie. This was literally just me thinking, I want some cheesecake and I'm gonna put it in a cookie. <laughs> so once we have this part done, we're gonna pop these in the freezer for about 15 minutes. I was trying to make that a mile high stuff until I wanted that, I wanted it to be at least like that, like at least a good inch. Which is exactly why I went back and added more of that filling on top of the cookie. <laughs> so once they are frozen, we can now add the tops to the cookies without smushing that filling down. So I'm just going to pat the other half and then lay it on top of the cookie. I'm going to make sure that the edges are completely sealed and this is very easy to do because that bottom cookie is pretty much solid. So we can form it as we see fit and then arrange them all onto the cookie sheet. While we're doing this, make sure to preheat your oven at 350 degrees. And as per usual, when I'm doing my videos now, my puppy has to get all up in the situation. If you can't tell, when I do my videos, I'm actually on a windowsill. He's super big, so now he has reached a height where he is front and center. Front and center of me making these videos. He actually licked the air. He did not lick a cookie. He did not lick my hands. But I had to break him off a little something, something. A little piece of dough without chocolate. You never want to give dogs chocolate. It's super dangerous for dogs. So now these are going to go into the oven for about 20 minutes. But I want you guys to start checking them at 16 minutes to see what they look like. We want them to just be golden brown, like just golden brown on top perfect underneath as well so now we can get to decorating I melted down some good white chocolate and I'm just gonna do a few drizzle designs I also have some of those dehydrated strawberries and I even have some leftover cheesecake filling I like to make a contrast of colors and then of course whatever's inside of the cookie I want to put on the outside but I don't just want to sprinkle whatever it is onto the cookie I want to group it and I want to place each individual piece because less is more and I want it to be strategic and ultimately be like a piece of art I want it to look like there was some thought and some tender love and care put into each and every cookie because there was and just take my time with it. Why not put some of that frosting filling onto the top of a cookie, hey. These are absolutely gorgeous. They are now on my Etsy shop. You can also message me to order them. I gave these out and I got rave reviews from everyone. Definitely a gourmet cookie, if I do say so myself. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Couture in a strawberry cheesecake stuffed cookie. Bye guys. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I remember these, they're gone now.
the cake needs to come and of the day goes to Keely Dennis on my springtime cake bombs three different ways video Keely says that's really cute the grands would love those 100 <laughs> yes they would thank you so much Keely yeah that's really like a in my opinion like a snack for a child who goes to the dentist regularly um, because you know that's a lot of sugar if I was eating those cake bombs I would definitely be sitting there with a little plate and a knife and a fork I probably wouldn't eat the chocolate but you know how kids are like oh yeah they want to eat everything I watched so many kids eat my fondant and their mom is like stop it Jimmy and they're like mom <laughs> I mean like oh my gosh you're gonna be on such a sugar rush and I'll be just watching like yeah well I mean I didn't make it from scratch at least thank you so much for comments and if you would like to be featured in the next video subscribe to the channel and comment I do have a cake Nisa question to share I've been wanting to say this forever I get this question not a lot but I get it here and there Sometimes people write me to ask, and it's so sweet, and I thank you so much. They say, Marisha, can you please send me your recipe in grams? I don't do any of my recipes in grams, obviously. So that means that you're basically asking me to convert the recipe for you to grams. I have to convert recipes all the time because I want the recipe. If I want to make it, it's my job to do what I have to do to make the recipe. I wouldn't think to ask the person who put out the recipe, can you just go ahead and do that little bit of work for me and convert it for me? You know, it's so sweet, it's so sweet that you guys want to make the recipes. But I do feel like it's a little bit lazy when you ask someone else to convert it because I know the frustration of finding those conversion measurements. And yeah, it's time consuming, but I wouldn't ask anybody to do my work for me. Everything is just a Google search away. So just get a scale. That's the best thing that you could do. That's what I did because I was tired of converting recipes myself. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's just certain things that I feel like you just take the responsibility to do yourself. If you want it, go get it. That's all, you know? <laughs> I've sent people charts, I've sent people graphs that I may have. So I don't mind helping anybody out, but converting a whole recipe, I'd rather not, I'd rather not. Hey Reesh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm converting recipe for at Cisco Loves to Bake. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all soon. Bye, Kicknistas. Alexa, play that good old conversion song. Mm. Exactly. And that's what I want to respond. I remember these. They're gone now.